Headshot. Okay, super quick here because I really need to get going. I'm already getting phone calls like, where are you? So I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible, but as fun as possible too. So I got my targets that my buddy John from Alloy211 sent me. Make sure you check out his channel because, I mean, they're beautiful. I'm going to set them up not that far as I did. I don't have the BMG today. I didn't bring it. I was in such a hurry. But I do have my elephant rifle. So... Well, sorry, I don't think it's going to penetrate, but it should hit pretty hard. I got the 8mm, I got steel core ammo for it. I got armor piercing cindery for 54R. That's a 7.5 French. I just brought regular full metal jackets. I do have steel core for them, but I was just kind of trying to keep it the full metal jackets, uh, the C. And then I brought, I brought the CZ for the turkey there. And uh, what else was I going to do? Yeah, so I'm going to try. I'll get over the targets real quick. He did an amazing job of these. I don't have the email pulled up, but I think I remember. Uh, that's half, or three eights, sorry, three eights AR 400 still. And then that gong and the turkey is half inch AR 400 steel. And then that is three quarter inch AR 400 steel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if the five, uh, seven five French will go through to half inch. If it does, I'll put the three quarter up. Uh, there's three eighths, I'm sorry, and a half inch. And, you know, if, if anything goes through that, then I'll put the three quarter up. So I didn't bring the BMG today because kind of kind of a time crunch. But I want to give a thank out, a thanks to John again from Alley Two One One for sending these. Be sure you check him out, and all my good friends, Mrs. Mail, uh, great guy, Pliskin, uh, by Fifty One Millimeter, great guy, and Andy Prairie Dog. They always you know stop in and say hi, and I appreciate it. I'm just saying hi back. And I'm going to try to hurry up, get set up. I'm going to shoot the rifles first. And if I have time, I'm going to get the CZ set up and shoot the turkey. Real two before I, uh, real two before I forget here. I'm, I'm by myself today. So I'm going to have my old camera here. I, hopefully it still works. It's a pretty decent camera. I'm going to have it sitting up beside me. And then I'm going to put the phone, you guys, down there. Slow-mo so we can see what happens. But if something happens... I'll label what ammo it is and stuff and whatever. So should be pretty good. Okay, sorry if it's a goofy angle. Try my best here. That's off. <laughs> it's been so long since I shot this gun. So this is 7.5 French. Full metal jacket. Ah, uh, I got it. I think my chain, uh, my, probably my zip tie broke. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. All right, let me set it back up. Okay, that did not penetrate the half inch. This is the 3 eighths, a little thinner. I think I just cut myself some glass. There we go. Ugh. Okay, yeah, there was like a super sharp stone under there, but so that was the 3 8 AR. Oh man, something else right there, too. There we go, another stuff. That was 3 8 AR 400 steel and a 575 French. Just put a scratch in it, I'll show you later. Okay, this is 54R silver tip. Definitely armor piercing incendiary. Alright, let's see what this can do here. Bear with me here. It didn't look like it really even did too much.
Definitely hit hard. Definitely scooted it back. Ah, look at that though. <laughs> I love the bird mark, dude. It just, it hardly even scratched it, man. That's some impressive steel. That was a 7.5 French. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We'll load up to 8 millimeter. Okay, next up we got some 8 millimeter out of the old Turkish Milder here. <laughs> she's a big barrel, but uh, she's pretty shot out. So, not sure how good she's going to work. This is steel core ammo like John had on his video there. So, let's see if it does anything. I'm surprised that arm piercing incendiary just scratched it, man. I was pretty impressed with that. Okay, can't guarantee I'm gonna hit this thing. Certainly, I should have put more than one in, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. She put a dent in it. It's pretty good dent in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, put a sizable scratch in it, but <laughs> that's about it, man. That is some, oh, <laughs> I think I broke my uh, <laughs> clasp. I was going to get a different one anyway, but yeah. that's impressive still. That's the smallest target he sent me, three eights. That's impressive, man. All right, we'll hit it with a four, and lock the thing out. So it did put a dent in it there. But we'll hit it with the elephant gun. It ain't gonna do anything, but it, it'll, it'll hit hard for sure. Okay, so next up we got the good old elephant rifle here. My baby. We got a 500 grain brass solid. I don't foresee it doing much other than just devastating it. So. Man, I've shot this gun. I love this gun. Beautiful unit. Like me too. Oh yeah. Hey. Right. <laughs> I do not have a good hold on this thing. Oh. Man. Yeah, I did not have a good hold. <laughs> hold on that. Oh man, this gun shoots so good. It hit right where I was aiming. I mean this gun is man I hate to toot my own horn but man this thing is it is my favorite gun. It's so accurate. I gotta really walk it out but I did not have a good hold on my shoulder on that one. I'm gonna feel it man. It was like right on my collarbone. I'm like ah fuck it. Alright let's go check it out. Okay, so this is super cool here. It didn't do anything as far as like just scratch it, but it bent the entire thing. You might not be able to see it on camera. You can feel the whole thing is just bent and divoted right there. It's like a big ball. <laughs> just hit so hard, man. There you go. I mean, make sure you check out John on his channel. I'll put a link in the description for everybody. Mrs. Mel, Pliskin, Andy Prairie Dog. Because that's impressive, man. I mean, that's a 54R API. And it just scratched it. He said this is AR400 steel. So I might try to see what time it is here. I'll set up the turkey. Maybe do a mag dump with a CZ Scorpion or something. Yeah, I got the CZ Scorpion here. I think it's like 19 or 20 rounds, something like that here. <laughs> dude this gun's so cool man it's just like drilled them right in the middle there great great gun dude great gun all right there it is guys ah i gotta hurry up get going unfortunately this is i have the biggest mess to clean up the, as fast as i can so 
hey thanks for checking it out subscribe if you want check out all my homies channels and we'll get back to doing some more shooting as soon as possible